Hey guys, Tech Reader here, and today we're going to be looking at the Lenovo Yoga Book. Now, before I do get into this video, there is something that you guys may notice, and that is the video quality. I have upgraded my camera to a Panasonic G7, so make sure to tell me in the comments how it does look below. I really do like how it gives me great 4K video, and if you do want a video on this camera, then make sure to leave a like. So the Lenovo Yoga Book does have some standout selling features, one of them being the amazing writing surface that you can use, and another is just it is an amazing portable laptop. Now you can get this laptop in Android and Windows variants, so there is definitely a bit to choose from. In my opinion though, I do think the Android version is a bit better. I have the Windows version here, I am reviewing that, so that's just a quick disclaimer. The Android results will probably be different to the Windows one in this video. On Amazon, the Android variant is currently $295 and the Windows variant is $373. So they're definitely pretty cheap laptops and for their performance and for their features, they do really run well. I have seen these laptops for much higher prices. They are currently on sale. So if you want to get this, make sure to go quickly. I'll have the links in the description if you do want to look at them, but by the time this video goes up, they may have different prices. Both of these laptops have the Intel Atom X5 Z8 550. Now this CPU, of course, for a Windows laptop, you would want to see a bit of a better one, maybe an i3 at least. Since it does have an Android version, I can see why they did it like this. I think maybe, even if it was just a bit more expensive for the Windows, it would definitely be worth having a better CPU. Both these laptops also have 4GB of RAM. Now this is good for Android, as I said before with the CPU, it is not as good for Windows. For a Windows laptop, you we are going into the age where you need around 8GB just to be able to use lots of things at once. But for an Android tablet, 4 gigs is just fine. And they also have 64GB SSDs. Now this is these SSDs are pretty small, but you can expand it with a microSD card slot, which is very useful if you do want to get a bit more storage, as a 64GB is almost never enough. You can get it in three different colours, carbon black, gunmetal grey and champagne gold, so you do have quite a bit to choose from. For the Windows one, I have only seen it in the black. It would be nice to see the Windows one with more colours. One of the standout features for this laptop is the drawer. Using the real pen is really cool. You can use it to write notes or just sketch and it really does work really well. I really enjoyed writing with it and I'm not a very good drawer as you could probably tell, but writing on it is actually really nice. You can use one note and you can just use the sketch program to save it as a PNG. It really is really useful and just I really enjoy it. Now the way this drawing feature works is you do have a stylus. Now this stylus, it, it doesn't require a battery so it's really useful. What you do is there is a pen button you can press on the keyboard and it gets rid of all the keys and lets you draw on it. This is really cool, but since we are on the topic of the keyboard, it isn't actually that good. If you do want to do typing on it, then this is not the laptop for you. It's probably, it'll be better as an Android tablet as you will not have to do it as much, but it really isn't that great. I do not really enjoy typing on it as there isn't really any keys and it does vibrate, but it still just isn't as good as I'd like it. So it is probably better just to use, if you want to do typing, get a different laptop. But for the drawing, it really is very good. Looking at performance, it's alright. The Windows one is pretty sluggish. I haven't tried out the Android one, but I imagine it probably runs pretty quickly. So yeah, the Windows one is just a bit slow getting things done. Of course, as it does only have that 4GB of RAM. I would like to see more, as I have said but it is all right. You can do some light web browsing or some word processing, not that you'd really want to with the keyboard, but yeah, it can handle the drawing just fine. It works really well for that, and some web browsing would definitely work as well. So if you want a gaming laptop, of course, this is obviously not for you, but for a laptop that you can just do some drawing, some sketching, just some note taking, this is definitely the laptop for you. Another cool feature is the included notepad. Now with the stylus, you can change the nibs. You can have one that doesn't have any ink, but there's also one that does have ink. This is really cool as you do have the hard copy as well as the soft copy, and it really makes it very useful when writing, as if some things can get lost on either one. So yeah, it is really useful to have both options. On the topic of using the notebook and stuff, the palm rejection is really good. I put my palm in there and it just works like a normal pen and paper would. It really is very good and I do like to see it. It's kind of like using the iPad Pro and it is really useful because it is really awkward having to lift your hand up off the piece of paper when you're trying to write, so it's good just to have that option. The trackpad on this laptop is not very usable. As I said, there are no tactile buttons on that part of the laptop, but it would be good to see a bit of a sort of better experience. The trackpad is really small, but I guess you do have the touchscreen. 
So if you are on Android, it would be better, but on Windows, it's just a bit harder using the touchscreen as it's a bit, you know, just more inconvenient. When you're using a Windows laptop, you do like to have a trackpad. You can, of course, connect a mouse, so that's what I've been doing, just connecting a mouse, and it does work much better. Another small gripe I do have with this laptop is it is quite hard to open up when it's on a table. Now that's just because it's so thin and light, when you open it up, it often just does lift up. So one way you would open it up is just like a real book hold it and then just open it apart and that's the, the best way I've found in opening this laptop. The build quality on this laptop is excellent. It feels really nice, the metal feels really good and really solid. I feel like it would work really well anywhere and yeah it is just a great build. For the display it has a 10.1 inch 1920 by 1200 display so it's a bit above 1080p. It is very nice and it looks really good. It's got a better display than some laptops and a much bigger price and yeah it is a really good display. I definitely do like looking at it. The contrast is pretty good and it works pretty well. The speakers on this laptop are pretty good. I do like using it for media consumption. They're not as good for music but overall they are very good speakers for a trackpad. Trackpad. Oh, well done. But overall, they are very good speakers for a tablet. The I.O. on this laptop includes a USB-C port for charging, a mini HDMI port, a headphone jack, and a volume rocker on the side. It is a bit strange how they do put it on the side, as they do have keys when it's lit up, but I guess that's good for drawing mode if you're listening to music or something in the background. For the battery, it does run pretty well. It lasts me at least a day, and that is all I ask, as I can charge it when I get home. So yeah, the battery is very good, and it means you can use this laptop on the go pretty easily. Overall, this laptop is very good if you want to use it for some light media use, drawing, web consumption, anything like that. It really is a good laptop for the price. Now, I would like to see a better keyboard, but as I said, you need that sort of touch keyboard for the drawing. So overall, this is a very good laptop, and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for maybe a graphics tablet or something, as it is very good for that. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this new quality of the camera then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so yeah make sure to leave a like anyway subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate that so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time